Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today I am creating this super cute birthday, happy birthday, be beautiful card featuring some favorite products from Simon Says Stamp. We're mixing the new sexy hexy dies from the recent Make Magic release with some of my previously or with some previously released favorite products like the Be Happy Cute Bee Images and the Diagonal Stripe Stencil. So I started my card by stamping the Be Happy Images and I really just started with the Bee and the Party Hat and that's because I didn't realize that the little hand die cut. So I am going to stamp my images on Bristol Smooth cardstock with Jellyfish No Line Coloring Ink. I'm using mustard and pale yellow for the yellow areas on my cute little bumblebee. I love these little chubby bumblebees. I think they're fun. This stamp set is a couple of years old. I believe it's like from 2019 if I'm not mistaken maybe even further, um, but I love it. I think that they're just so fun and whimsical and their faces are darling. For the wings, I am using blue-gray and I'm using this pretty sparingly. It's kind of my outline color. And then I'm going to use English lavender for that touch of purple or lavender iridescence to the wings. And finally, I'll finish with the blender to blend those colors out. We're gonna do a really fun effect at the end of this video to give the wings a little bit more shimmer and shine. I wanna do anything that's gonna be a lighter tone first because the grays I'm gonna use are pretty dark and I don't wanna accidentally pull that color into the light yellow or the lavender. Next, I'm using a combination of dark gray, platinum brown, gray tint, and gray tint, pardon me, for the black parts on the bumblebee. So the stripe, the legs, the arms, and then the little face and neck area or chest. Kind of just working my way up. Now I decided before I get too far into coloring in the face that I am going to take a Tombow multi-liner and I'm going to draw in the face detail. I don't want to accidentally lose it. I also don't want to get my marker into the eyes. So everything on the face, which is very detailed, there's a lot going on. There's the freckles, the nose, the mouth, the eyebrows, and then the eyes, of course, as well as the little cheek uh, bumps there underneath the eyes. So I drew those in with my black pen. And then I'm going to finish shading with platinum brown and gray tint. We're going to take a little tea rose for the cheeks. It's a little bit darker pink than what I normally use. Um, I, I tried a couple different ones and I like that because I feel like it shows up nice over the gray. Trace in the antennae, color those in, and then for the party hat, we're gonna go colorful because we're gonna be creating a very colorful background for this card. So the party hat is going to be turquoise green and green shadow, and then the little uh, colorful pom-poms up at the top are going to be peach pink and sugared almond pink. Uh, bright yellow and yellow and then I didn't color the other one right away but it's gonna be light green and yellow green I went back and took my turquoise green marker and added some little stripes on the party hat to give it some texture I'm gonna use the much loved diagonal stripe stencil from Simon Says Stamp you can see that I ha it is well loved I have used it many many times um, so many times that it doesn't come completely clean anymore but that's okay I do find with this stencil that using pixie spray helps so much I'm using Simon Says Stamp Scuba Ink to apply down there in the bottom right corner, uh, kind of about three quarters or of the way up or just a little past half maybe. And then I'm gonna come down from the top corner and meet the aqua with a little butter ink from Lawn Fawn. It's very light. I wanted it to kind of go very light to this dark color, darker scuba color aqua. And then I'm gonna remove my stencil and I'm left with this really subtle, pretty background. Now that I have that, I want to stamp the word Be Beautiful right on the background with some black ink. We will be creating a sentiment strip for the rest of the greeting and we'll do that once we've finished our background. 
So kind of what I built my entire design around is coming up next. We did a lot of other stuff first, but I really wanted to feature the sexy hexes. So these are going to be amazing little background builder builders. I've used the hearts. Um, I've used other dies from Simon before, but I have not used the hexes yet. And this was so fun. So I die cut Hero Hughes Azalea and Papaya cardstock. Lawn Fawn Sunflower, Cilantro, and Mermaid cardstock, and Simon Says Stamp Peacock cardstock. So I'm combining cardstocks from three different companies. I die cut a bunch of the hexes, not all of them from the collection, but a good, a good number of them. I'm going to have a lot of leftover pieces. I simply place them in my little leftover um, cupcake tin to use on other projects but I am building these really bright, colorful rainbow hexes all over the background. I did a few off camera there. You can see that I'm kind of grouping them in three areas on the background. I stamped that sentiment first so that I could build my hexes around that. And we're simply going to kind of fill in the space. So down to the bottom left, kind of the upper right, and then the very tippy top upper left. Once we have all of the hexagons we want to use glued in place, I did use a liquid glue to glue them down. We are going to first finish that little pom pom on the hat because I don't want to accidentally forget that. And then we want to add our finishing details. In this case, I want to pop up my darling little bumblebee with hat using foam adhesive. I'm gonna go ahead and just place that all over the back. I'm gonna make sure I don't put foam adhesive behind the one arm because I am going to stamp an additional image to pop on my card. And I've left this bottom corner, it's perfectly uh, kind of sized or spaced for him. And I'm going to glue him down in place. I did uh, go ahead and stamp the honey pot from Be Happy right here on my Bristol Smooth cardstock. I colored in the honey with mustard and pale yellow, the honey pot with mid brown and beige, and then the stripe around the center with bright yellow and yellow. I really felt like this was Honey the Poos. Honey the Poos. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so tired. Winnie the Poos <laughs> Honey Pot. Uh, very cute. I love, love, love this image. I'm gonna tuck it in to the bumblebees little hand there, pop it up with foam adhesive, make sure I've glued, put liquid glue under the rest of it in place, and that finishes off him perfectly. So the next thing I have to do is stamp like a little bumblebee trail. Now I want one kind of down here, but the bumblebee trail isn't gonna show very much. I went ahead and stamped it with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink, the same ink I used for the Be Beautiful sentiment. And I think I'm going to need to add some other bumblebee trails to just kind of balance this out. And you'll see that at the end of the video. I'm going to go ahead and take my panel, which does measure four by five and a quarter inches, meaning it's going to leave a nice white border all the way around the perimeter of the design to a white top fold card base. And then I'm taking my favorite little red heart embellishments and I'm going to pop these in place on the card background. I like the red. I think it really makes the design pop and I love that little touch. I want the wings to be iridescent. Oh, first we're going to add the rest of our sentiment. I stamped and embossed happy birthday on the Simon Says Stamp Peacock cardstock. And then I die cut it with a sentiment labels die, you know, my very favorite dies from Simon. And then I'm taking Nuvo Crystal Drops in White Blizzard. And we are going to do a nice sparkly wing on our bumblebees. Now my Nuvo Crystal Drops, I haven't used it in a while. There for a while, I think I used it on almost every card. I have not used it in a while. It's not wanting to come out very good. So I keep having to take a straight pin and unclog it. 
uh, but that's okay. I eventually get it working well. I'm going to give a nice even layer all over the wings. When this dries, it dries clear with an iridescent sparkle, which is just perfect because I really want that color of the wings to show through, but I want them to have that sparkle to it. Once we have that done, we just have a couple of things left to do. So for the extra little bumblebee trails, because I have wet product on my card, I can't really use the Misty, so I grabbed an acrylic block instead and a little post-it tape so I don't stamp on the outer border of the card. And I am going to stamp extra bumblebee trails in a couple of the open spaces. Again, this is gonna create a visual triangle. So we have one up here at the top and we're gonna have one over here at the side. And I think that just ties it together. It kind of gives the bumblebee some motion like he's been buzzing around. And then I did add glossy accents to the eyes and when they dry, cause you can see they're a little milky right now, it's going to dry completely clear, but they're gonna have a raised glossy finish. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this quick and easy beautiful birthday card featuring Simon Says Stamp products. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Simon Says Stamp products that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.